Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing part two of my Battle of the Foundation Sticks and today I'm gonna to be talking about the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. Now we only just got this in Australia probably, I wanna say like a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, we've not had it for very long. I know it's been hyped and everyone has been talking about it for a long time now, but we're just getting hold of it. So now it's finally my time to give this foundation a try. So if you watched my video last week, I did my first impressions review of the Hourglass foundation stick. And today I wanna to compare it to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick. So I'm gonna do a full first impressions review of the Makeup Forever one. And then later on tonight, after I've kind of wore this for the full day and I know how I feel about it, I'm gonna compare it to the Hourglass one and just give you my opinion on which one's best for me and for my skin type. So if you haven't watched my videos before, my skin type is a dehydrated combination. So generally I have kind of a dry dehydrated skin, but I do produce a little bit of oil through the middle. So I can get a little bit shiny and a little bit melty through the middle. Around the edges, like I said, I'm more of a dehydrated dry skin type. Um, so I do find it a little bit difficult to find the perfect foundation that can stay through the oils, but not, not dehydrate my skin. So giving these two a try just to see which one really, really works for me. Now, I believe there's like 14 shades all together, but we only got five here in Australia. So I picked up the shade 115, which is R230. Now that was the only one that came close to my skin tone. I think it is slightly on the pinker side, so we'll have to see how we go with color. Um, but the other ones that we stocked were just far too dark and far too yellow for me. So hopefully this one will work out. I think it's called Ivory. Now, first of all, I'm just gonna talk about what the actual website is saying about this foundation. So what it is, a long lasting multitasking cover stick with invisible coverage for foundation touch-ups and contouring. Ultra HD invisible cover stick foundation creates a flawless complexion on camera and to the naked eye. Developed specifically for the film and TV industry's most advanced technology, it is completely invisible under the latest super focused 4K lens. The revolutionary foundation contains amino acid coated pigments that provide medium to full coverage with a lightweight second skin texture that looks just like skin. It leaves a natural looking radiant finish and it's formulated with hyaluronic spheres for time released hydration that is perfect for normal to dry skin. Ideal for foundation touch ups and contouring, it can be applied at home or on the go for a flawless complexion. So basically they created this stick to be used for kind of touch ups and things like that. But I know a lot of people are using it for an actual foundation. So that's what I'm gonna be trying it for today. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna prime my skin like I normally do. So first of all, I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer just all over the skin. Now, I always use this primer like 90% of the time. So this is the one I always like to test my foundations with. And then through the center of the face to help with my texture, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. So I'm just putting that through the middle, just kind of working it in where I have a little bit of open pores, a little bit of kind of texture issues. I sound really snuffy today. We got a new cat and um, I'm actually allergic to cats. My What happens with me is when I first kind of meet a new cat, it drives like all my kind of sinuses and my allergies crazy. And then I get used to it and I kind of build up an immunity to it. So my cat, I've already got Poppy. I'm totally fine with her. She doesn't bother me anymore. But Penny's just like, I'm so congested and my eyes are always like really itchy. And it takes probably about a month for me to kind of build up an immunity to her and for it to all settle down. So I'm sorry if I sound a bit congested. All right, let's have a look at this foundation. So that's how it comes, your very basic black and white packaging. Makeup Forever are not known for their fancy packaging. It's all about the product. And then this is what it looks like. So it's got a little clear lid. Now size-wise, this is 12.5 gram foundation stick and I paid $69 for it. So let's see how much we actually get. That is like the smallest, smallest amount of foundation I've ever seen. Oh my God, that is devastating. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be about double the amount, but that's okay. Let's just hope it's got really good pigmentation. So I'm just gonna start applying it. Now for application, I'm gonna blend it in with my Sigma F80 flat kabuki brush, just like I did with the Hourglass one. I feel like this is the best kind of 
application method for a stick foundation. So I'm just going to buff that in. Okay, color's actually really good. I don't think it's too pink. I actually love the color. The color's amazing. Pretty easy to blend. It's quite a thick kind of oily texture, so you do have to work it in quite hard, like, you know, quite a lot to get it to blend into the skin, but it blends in seamlessly. I love how that looks. I feel like that looks like second skin. That is phenomenal. All right, let me just get a hand mirror so I can have a closer look. Okay, I think that looks incredible. It's like, it's seamless. Yeah, it feels absolutely seamless. Like it is the right, it is invisible on the skin. It is so hard to detect foundation. That's amazing. Now the coverage is definitely medium. I think we can build it up a little bit. So I am definitely gonna test that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on, just kind of through the middle where I have a little bit of kind of more redness so we'll maybe try and cover this pigmentation and see how we go Okay, that's it all blending in, and I am dying for this foundation. Like, my skin looks flawless, and it just looks like flawless skin. <gasps> Everything everyone's been saying is true. Oh, I am overwhelmed right now at how good this looks on my skin. This is beautiful. Now, it looks flawless. You can't even really tell I'm wearing makeup. It just looks like I have really beautiful skin. It's got a nice kind of sheen to it, but it's not it's not kind of greasy. I would love to, I'm really excited to see how it holds up to see if it kind of gets really greasy. Um especially through the middle, but that's beautiful. Like I wouldn't call it full coverage. I'm sure you could get to full coverage the more you put on, but you can still see kind of like little bits through the skin, which is absolutely fine. I would call it like medium, medium full is how I'm wearing it. Um, yeah, it's, it's stunning. Like no dry patches, no kind of visible texture, nothing. It just looks really flawless on the skin. All right, I'm going to go and finish the rest of my makeup. I'm not going to put too much on because I'm not doing much today. I'm just going to conceal some little bits, um, sort out these vampire looking red eyes, bit of brows, bit of mascara, nothing too crazy. So I'll probably be back in about half an hour. Um, it is, it's um, 9.18 right now. So yes, I'll be back on around 10 o'clock and we'll see how it's looking now that it's all settled in. Okay, I'm back. It is 9.38. So like, 20 minutes since I put the makeup on. Not too long, didn't take me too long to do my makeup today. Now it is settling in beautifully. I can't get over how amazing this foundation looks on my skin, it is flawless. So all I've done is put a little bit of bronzer on, a little bit of blush. I did a little bit of kind of concealer just through here just to cover up any redness. Bit of powder, mascara, lips and brows and that's it. So I haven't put that much on top of the foundation. Like I said in my previous video, I never bake or anything like that when I'm testing a foundation because I don't want anything to enhance it. I want it to kind of do its own thing. So looking close up, it is absolutely flawless. Like it is undetectable. I am amazed at how good this foundation looks. I'm so, so excited. The Hourglass foundation, it looked amazing at kind of the first few hours and then it kind of started to break down. So I'm really excited to see what happens with this. Hopefully this one holds up a lot better than the Hourglass one, but we'll see. We'll definitely come back and we'll see how they are looking. So I'm gonna go out for the day, kind of really put this foundation to the test and we'll see what happens with it. So I will see you very, very soon. Okay, so we're back. It is 5.23. 
So eight hours, just under eight hours since I put the makeup on. Excuse the background, I've just filmed my first Halloween tutorial and it went so well. I'm so excited to put these videos up, it's gonna be amazing. Anyway, so that's why I have a deep black background, which isn't like me, but there you go. All right, now let's talk about the foundation. So like I said, it's been on for about eight hours. I have, have I been busy? Yeah, I suppose I have. And we filmed this tutorial, which was quite intense. That took like four hours. Um, so yeah, so not kind of running around, but just kind of under these lights for the past four hours, which kind of is not amazing on makeup. Look, to be honest, it's holding up really, really well. It still looks really good. It's very shiny, as you can see through the middle. It's still kind of very shiny, as you can see through the middle, all kind of around here. I only powdered with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, so... I didn't powder it heavily. It look it still looks great. Like it hasn't broke down. It's come off my chin and it's come off around my nose, but I think I've been rubbing, so that's absolutely fair enough. But all around here it's kind of still looking really good. It hasn't hasn't separated, it hasn't caked. It's just come away where I've been rubbing and it's just looking a little bit shiny. So I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours again. The hourglass one I had on for 10 hours. So I want to make sure that I do it with this foundation too, just to give it a really good fair go. And then in two hours time, I'm gonna be doing my final comparison of them both and deciding which one I think is the better foundation. So I'll be back in two hours time. So what time is it now? So we're back about 7.30 just to um, do a final review of how this foundation is looking. So I'll see you very soon. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is now 7.30. So about 10 hours since I put the makeup on, which is what I wanted because that's what I did with Hourglass. I gave it 10 hours. I wanted to give this 10 hours just so I could give an finished review of what I thought of the foundation. So let's just have a look. Okay, very shiny. As you can see, it's like a swimming pool on my forehead. It's incredibly, incredibly shiny. Now it's definitely started to break down. Like there is pretty much nothing left on my nose, nothing left on my chin. It's all kind of started to cake and things all around here. It's looking a bit of a mess now. Very, very similar to the hourglass as in, give it, it, they don't last 10 hours. Like I would say this one you could wear for six to eight hours. Whereas the hourglass wasn't wasn't quite even as long as that. So overall, I do think it was a good foundation. It applied beautifully. Like it, when it first went on, I was so overwhelmed by how amazing it looked on my skin. Um, it applied really easily. I got a really good coverage really quickly. I could build it. There was no cakiness. It looked flawless. So I would say this would be like a six to eight wear, six to eight hour wear foundation. I probably wouldn't give it any longer than eight hours because. You know, it's not, the last two hours have not been very successful for it. I think it's definitely worth the hype. I think the hype that's been brought around this foundation has been huge. Everyone's been talking about it, saying how amazing it is. And I was so desperate to try it. And I do think that what everyone's saying is true. I don't think it's as long wearing as people are saying. But like I said earlier, if I'd done all my usual steps, like done all my concealers and baked it and like more heavy powdered it and kind of really maintained it. I think it would have been amazing for a lot longer, but I've just left it to its own devices because that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people don't have time and don't take all those extra steps. They just want to put the foundation on and just let it do its work. Now I want to just quickly touch on both of them and just do a comparison test because that's what this was all about. I wanted to see which was the better foundation stick because they both just came out in Australia and I think people are wondering which one should they go for and I just want to kind of give my opinion on which one to go for. So I've looked at all the kind of different aspects. So first of all, I looked at shades. Now I'm talking about Australia. I know in America and Europe, they probably have different shades amounts, but I'm talking about in Australia. In Australia, in Hourglass, we have 26 shades. We have a huge shade range. There is nothing like that on the market. Who has 26 shades in a foundation? There's not a lot of foundations out there. So I think that's phenomenal. Now Makeup Forever, we only got five shades. Like that is pathetic. Who can guarantee that they're going to be in that shade, that five shade range? Like hardly anyone. I don't, like I was lucky, like it was flawless on me. The color was amazing, but I think you have to be pretty lucky to get a good color in the makeup forever. So Hourglass hands down wins for their shade range. Like that is, that's unreal. Next thing was price. Now both of these foundations come out at $69. They are exactly the same price in the store. Um, size wise, the Makeup Forever is 12.5 grams, which is 0 0.44 fluid ounces. So half the size of a normal um, one ounce foundation. 
Hourglass is only seven grams, so it's e it's almost even half that. So it's probably about 0.25 of an ounce. So that is quarter of the size of a normal foundation. This one's half the size. So both $69, that one has almost double the amount. So for size, Makeup Forever wins. For size and price, Makeup Forever wins hands down. Now application, I found with both of them, you know, you're put on around about the same amount to get the same coverage. Now, I found that Hourglass applied a lot quicker to the skin. Like, you could blend Hourglass in so quick, it kind of melted into the skin like a liquid. It was almost creamy. It wasn't like that waxy stick, whereas Makeup Forever was a little bit more of like a waxy stick. It was a little bit heavier. You had to work a little bit harder to get it to blend. You had to be a little bit firmer with your brush, whereas Hourglass was like it it was seamlessly easy to blend. So for that, I would say Hourglass definitely wins for, for the application. It was just so quick and so seamless. Now the finish of the application was definitely Makeup Forever. I remember when I put the Hourglass one on, when I first put it on, I didn't really like it. It clung to all of my dry patches that I didn't even know it had. It showed all of my texture. When it first went on, it was just, it didn't look pretty. Now, Makeup Forever went on like a dream. I have never seen anything like it. Like, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is my favorite foundation. That looks like heaven on your skin. This one is comparable, for sure. This one goes on like beautiful skin. When they say it's got a seamless skin-like finish, they're not lying. That's exactly what it does. So for the finish, I would 100% make up, say Makeup Forever. It, it slashed Hourglass. It was beautiful. And then wearability, um, I think they pretty much, they wore similar. Makeup Forever just wore a little bit longer. Makeup Forever looked amazing right from the start, right through until about eight hours, and then it started to break down. Hourglass looked shitty at the start. After about half an hour, it looked amazing. And then it wore to about I think it probably wore to about six or seven hours before that one started to break down. So Makeup Forever was seamless right from the start and lasted a bit longer. Hourglass took a little bit of time to settle in and didn't last quite as long. So for wearability, 100%, again, I would say Makeup Forever, it, it was beautiful. So my final opinion is the better foundation stick is Makeup Forever. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick is everything that everyone has been saying it is phenomenal. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. If you've got any questions or comments or if you have any different experiences with this foundation, either of the foundations, anything at all, please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have got to say about it. If you did enjoy my video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you very, very soon.